Hey guys, it's Jason with Wired to Fish, and today we're going to talk a little bit about big spoons. Um, got a lot of questions about how, when, where, all that about how to fish these. Really, there's not too much to it. Um, I use pretty heavy line, 20 pound line, um, for a couple of reasons. Um, and a medium heavy to heavy action rod, and a pretty long rod, seven foot or longer. Um, the long rod will keep you from wearing out too long. Uh, wearing out, you know, throwing it and yanking it is what really wears you out all day doing that big sweep. Um, the 20 pound line I use because I've caught some really big fish doing this, not to mention some 20 pound stripers. Um, I want to get my spoon back and I've caught several doubles because a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take and I'll put another treble hook up here. So I've got one at the end, one at the top. Um, the reason I do that is because a lot of times a fish will get it and he'll, he'll be holding it like this flopping around down there and another fish comes and tries to take it away from him. Well, if you got a treble hook hanging there, guess what, you get a double. I've actually got some on film, I'll show you here. Um, but then, you know, the rest of it, you know, is a, is a good strong rod because what you're gonna be doing is you're basically gonna be just, you know, ripping up on the spoon, um, letting it flutter back down. You know, you'll catch some fish at the top of your rip because they see it kind of jumps up and it's in their face, but really most of the time what you're gonna do is this thing's gonna be just kind of fluttering all the way to the bottom. Um, you're going to rip it up again and it's going to flutter all the way to the bottom. Now if you're fishing around cover, this ain't the deal. You're not going to like that because it is snaggy and uh, these are pretty hard to get back when they're stuck in cover. So um, we'll walk you through here um, what it looks like um, fishing one and we've got some good footage of some fish catches for you to enjoy here. So um, take a look at this and see what you think. So you make a long cast. And then you're basically going to feed it slack line, let it get to the bottom. Usually we're fishing these out pretty deep, you know, 20 feet of water, 25 feet of water. You're going to let it get to the bottom. And, and what I call it, I call it chasing your slack. And basically, you're going to rip the spoon up. And then as your slack goes down, you're just kind of, you're following the slack. And a lot of times the, that initial sweep is when you're going to get that first bite. But you kind of, you rip it up and then you, as you reel down, you're actually leaving slack on the water and you're just following your slack back to the bottom. You don't want to put any tension on the line because the, the spoon won't flutter when it's got tight line. So it actually needs to have slack to be able to move. But you got to kind of watch that, watch that line as it sinks back. Once you see it stop sinking, you immediately reel up and sweep back up, get it snapped up off the bottom. Here we go, and this is it, basically hooked up here. Kentucky Lake Special there.
Nice fish. It's a chunk. Nice spoon bass. I like it, man. But good. That's what you catch on the big spoon. I like it. Stay tuned for more tips from Wired to Fish. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor, record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota.